Hi guys and welcome to the next video of this entire series. In this video, I will be discussing what is high risk delivery pool or HRDP. In the last session, we discussed what are mail flow rules and how we can control email routing using mail flow rules in Exchange Online. In this particular session, I will be discussing what is high risk delivery pool and how does it work. If a user from an Office 365 tenant sends an email, that email will be processed by one of Exchange Online Protection email servers. And the IP address of the email server will be added as connecting IP address within the email header. Now let's assume that this email is a spam email or this is a bulk email which is sent from a user's mailbox. When the recipient server will receive this email, the spam filter server will scan the email. During this process, this email will be marked as spam and the SCL value will be stamped as five or higher. Moreover, the recipient email server will add the connecting IP address within its low reputation IP address list. Because this IP address belongs to an email server that has processed a spam or a bulk email. Now let's assume that if a user from another Office 365 tenant will send a legitimate email, and if this email will be processed by the same email server. In that case, the recipient server will not accept this email because this email was processed by an email server that has a low reputation IP address. So this is a serious problem if legitimate emails will be rejected by the recipient email servers. Let's assume that if one of the user accounts from Office 365 tenant is compromised and someone is sending spam emails using that particular account. Now this email will be processed by one of the email servers of Exchange Online Protection. And when this email will be sent to the recipient server, the recipient server will mark this email as spam and will add the connecting IP address within the low reputation IP address list. To overcome this situation, Microsoft has a secondary pool of IP addresses that include only low reputation IP addresses. And this pool of low reputation IP addresses is called high risk delivery pool or HRDP. Secondary IP pool helps to reduce the risk of the normal outbound IPs being added within the block list. So if a spam email will be sent out from an Office 365 tenant, those emails will be processed by high risk delivery pool IP servers and the legitimate emails will be processed by the good reputation IP addresses servers. Now the question arises how a sender can identify if a particular email was processed by high risk delivery pool server. We can check two tabs within an email header, X forefront anti-spam report and X forefront anti-spam report untrusted. If these tabs contain values SFV SPM or SCL5 and SFP1501, that means this particular email was routed through high risk delivery pool servers. If we run extended message trace or EMT, and if we see SFV SPM, SCL5 or higher, and DI equal SO, that means the email was routed through high risk delivery pool servers. So now we know that the emails are being routed through high risk delivery pool, but how we can prevent this from happening? As an administrator, we can configure the outbound spam filter policy within Exchange Online Protection. Under outbound spam filter policy, we can configure emails limit or recipients limit. We can set a maximum number of external recipients per hour or maximum number of internal recipients per hour, or we can set the maximum number of recipients per day. So with the help of these settings, we can control the outbound email flow from an organization. Moreover, we can restrict the user accounts who are exceeding these limits. Either we can restrict the user from sending emails for next 24 hours, or we can restrict the user from sending the emails 
and that user account will be added under restricted user accounts in security and compliance center. We can even turn on the notification settings with an outbound spam filtering policy. We can send a copy of outbound emails to an email address which exceeded the limit set by an administrator. Or we can send a notification email in case a user account is restricted due to sending outbound spam emails. Now let's recap what we have discussed about high risk delivery pool. High risk delivery pool is a secondary pool of low reputation IP addresses which are used to route spam or bulk emails. Secondary pool reduces the risk of good reputation IP addresses being added within block list. To prevent emails being routed through high risk delivery pool, we can configure outbound spam filter policies. So in this particular session, we have discussed what is high risk delivery pool and how does it work? In the next session, I will be discussing what is message trace and what is extended message trace or EMT. I will be showing you how we can analyze a message trace and how we can collect extended message trace logs. So if you have learned something new from this particular session, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.